actually love this. I was skeptical at first, but it turns out that it actually is okay. Like, it actually is okay. $25 for the whole freaking collection. And I am, I must say, I'm satisfied. I'm definitely satisfied. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Gotta know when I let go. Sometimes healing up can make it grow. Can make it grow. Hey girl, hey, it's your girl Jay and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by today's title, we are actually going to be doing yet another silk press tutorial. I did um, find another product that I was like, I gotta try it. This one is actually um, a pretty much a household name. I'm actually using the Tresemme Keratin Smooth um, collection. It's supposed to be really, really good with um, making sure that your hair is nice and silky smooth. Now, I will say it's not a fubu product so it's not for us by us but i saw it and i said this is super affordable you can get it just about anywhere i have got to try it um i really like this collection too because it is infused with marula oil and if you don't know about marula oil look it up it's actually really really good um with achieving that really silky look i will say just look at it it really really did its thing so um yes if you are new to my channel thank you so much for sliding through and if you are returning Hey girl, hope you've been good. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, if you have any questions or concerns, or if you have any other products that you would like to see me try, I'm definitely down for it. Um, this is just another one of many different tutorials that I plan to do on my channel. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video now. So being that when we first started the video, my hair was straight already, I want to make sure that I get my hair really, really saturated until it starts to revert back to its natural pattern. And it's so important that you do this before you start to add shampoo. So in the first round of shampooing my hair, I like to add a little bit of shampoo. Um, as you see, the consistency was a little questionable at first, but I said, let's go ahead and try it. I like to really, really work it into my roots before I start getting into the shaft, only on the first round though. So now that we are in round two, I like to add a really, really hefty amount. Now we're going to work it into the roots, but we're also going to make sure that we really, really get it into the shaft as well. Really, really work it in there, making sure that it's getting every single strand of hair. So now we're really gonna get a good rinse. I really, really take my time when I'm trying to rinse all of the shampoo out of my hair because I really don't wanna leave anything in it that's gonna dry it out. Next, we're gonna add a really good amount of conditioner to the hair. The consistency was still a little off for me. That was funny. But the, yeah, the consistency was off for me, but I said I'm gonna add enough so that it really doesn't matter. Now I'm just gonna braid that section into a little braid and then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it on the other side. I like to leave my conditioner in for a minimum of 10 minutes. Then I take my paddle brush and this is when I'm really gonna start the detangle process before I start to rinse. Once it's all rinsed out, I do go ahead and rebraid both sections, just making sure that I don't mess up what I just detangled. Really draining the hair minimizes the amount of heat that you have to put on it with the blow dry, so I try to get as much water out of my hair as possible. Now it's time to get out. 
All right, guys, so I just got out of the shower. I went ahead and washed and conditioned my hair. In good fashion, I put my hair in my two Pippi Longstock ponytails or uh, pigtails. Um, Because you guys know I am so big on detangling my hair while it's soaking wet. I do not do it. Once I got out of the shower. So, um, so far, I feel like the texture of my hair feels pretty, feels okay. Um, it doesn't feel product -y at all. I do like that. Um, now, the smell. I have a really really strong nose i feel like after pregnancy my pregnancy nose never went away so it does have a little bit of a like a fruity smell to it i'll say so i will say that's going to be one of the things that i really don't like um also i just feel like it, the, maybe the spell the smell is just really nostalgic for me because you know before we started getting into hair care and stuff like that tresemme was one of those go-to shampoo conditioners like everybody's used this before um this is actually why i wanted to use this product because it's just so i don't know about y'all but to me it's just so so nostalgic like this is this is what i used back in the day you know before i started spending money on products um so yeah the smell doesn't stink but it is a little fruitier than i would actually like um so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna go ahead and split this into two sections as you guys are gonna see i really really keep my hair in sections while during this whole process i do not like my hair to get tangled or anything like that so that's why i do like to keep it in sections a pretty good um amount of the time so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this back section in a ponytail now in effort to give you guys the real deal holy feel i did go ahead and bring a chair that can rotate so let me go ahead and switch to that so you guys can see the back all right my girls we are good to go i got my 360 chair so now i can turn around when i need to so what i've done so far is i just went ahead and put this back section in a ponytail um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go in with our, it's two um, products that you use before you blow your hair. One is the Keratin Smooth Shine Serum. Um, this is actually an anti-frizz um, formula. This is supposed to really, really help with keeping the hair smooth. Um, now, as I said before, this is not really a uh, FUBU uh, brand. You know, this is not for us by us. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, I really, really hope it doesn't make me look super, um, I really hope that it doesn't make me look really, really like oily. And then this is just a heat protecting spray. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with, uh, this one says to use on wet hair. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this, just one little pump. I really do not want to use a lot at all. Okay. All right. So it says use one pump, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And it says use it on wet hair, so I went ahead and did that. My hair absor absorbs moisture so much. Like, I don't ever really have time. <laughs> like, I have to move quick because my hair starts growing, um, drying really, really fast on its own. And so now I'm going to go ahead and go on with this heat protectant. Um, this is also supposed to be really, really good for... Um, for frizz as well um and I, the one thing i really like about this collection is it is um it has it's infused with marula oil and that's supposed to be really really good for making your hair really silky and smooth and stuff like that um this does have five benefits anti-frizz detangles shines um it's um softness tames flyaways so it it's supposed to be really really good so we're gonna go ahead and spray that on there i'm not gonna be like my last video and shy away from the product i'm gonna really see what it's about so let's go ahead and do that now all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair a lot of you guys um, well, I won't say a lot of you guys. I don't know who I think I am. Some people did respond that they wanted to see my 15 minute blow dry tutorial. Um, I actually already have a film that I just haven't edited, but I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair now. All right, you guys, I am back and I'm Felicia. 
No, I'm just kidding. So I hope um, by now you guys know that I'm a section girl. I put everything in sections and um, there's that. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is go ahead and get into the flat iron process. So um, in good fashion, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my flat iron off because that's just what I do. So I take a cotton square and some rubbing alcohol. And then I just do like a little, little thing there. And I do this just because it gets rid of any old oil that was on the flat iron before now. It don't always be like super dirty or anything, but you see, it's something. It's a little tint on there. And I don't need nothing making my hair oily. Nothing. Um, so as far as the texture of my hair right now, I will say that my hair feels like a Popeye's biscuit right now. It's really, really dry. Um, I'm not very optimistic on how my hair is going to feel after this. Um, I'm really, really not. I am going to probably go in and add some more of this shine serum just because, like I said, I am scared. This is not giving silk right now. It's really, really not giving silk. But uh, we're going to give it a go. So I'm going to go ahead and start on this side. And since I don't really necessarily need to see, I'm going to turn so you guys can fully see. And so um, I'm going to show you guys my methods of how I get the best, um, of how I get the best result. And um, definitely let me know down below if you have any methods that work better for you. Um, I'm all about just minimizing the amount of heat that I put on my hair. Because I do straighten my hair all the time. So heat damage is just pretty much inevitable, but I want to kind of mim minimize it as much as I can. So what I'm going to do first, I, take, I like to take the end of my comb and go ahead and just slide it right there. As you see, this isn't like a super small piece, and it's just because I consider this to be not technically the edge, but it is around the edge of your head. And um, I find that the hair here is a lot thinner than when you get up in these sections. So around the edges, I really like to do thicker sections rather than um, thinner sections. So I'm gonna be using my good old faithful Remington. I've come to the conclusion that I'm not going to get a new flat iron until someone sends me one. And it's either gonna be a sponsor or I don't know maybe a nigga gonna buy me one I don't know but we're gonna go ahead and do that so I like to tight lightly um touch on the root and then I take my comb and this is my braided comb this is totally the wrong comb to be doing this but I like to do the chase method so if you have not mastered this this is something that you really 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 want to make sure that you master it's so important and trying to, uh, wow, who is blowing my phone up like this? Oh my God. It's really important when you're trying to master doing a silk press. So now um, that we're past that part, you'll see my sections are going to get a little bit smaller, just a little bit. You see that scalp? The shampoo really, really did good. I will say my hair feels really, really dry. I'm not even gonna hold you. So like I said, I like to get into the root, take my comb, get about halfway there, and then do my chase method. All right, let me see if I can turn a little bit more so you guys can see better. I got a little mirror here. Take our comb. We're gonna comb. I set it here just to rest it. Grab it, hit that root, baby. Hit that root. Take it. And then just chase it on down. And make sure your, your comb is like flipped up and not flipped down. I think that having your comb flipped down is just I, I, I don't understand how people do that. So far, my okay. All right, Tresemme. All right, Tresemme. I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of, kind of feeling it. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go through this. I'm not gonna bore y'all to death. But again, that chase method. Once you have that mastered, you're you're bound for greatness. Um, this is not going to fit into the clamp of the flat iron, so I'm just gonna do it in two sections now. As I get um, to the top, I normally do it in two sections. Grab that root, grab the comb, put it there, and then just chase it down. 
but yeah even while the flat iron is off just practice doing the chase method like that is how you are going to get the most sleek look do you guys see that you see how that is definitely gonna go down this is also a great method if you have weave as well or like a sew-in because um, especially if you like blending the hair blending your natural hair with the weave um, the chase method makes it really really easy oh this shampoo really dry me out oh Y'all, this shampoo is definitely not FUBU. It is definitely not FUBU. Right, and so another thing, um, making sure that you have a really good amount of clips around you is going to be definitely important too. As you see, now that I've finished this top part, just um, twisted it and kind of clipped it up so that I can have access to the back. I don't like to do the back first just because, I, don't, I mean, I don't really have no rhyme or reason. I just really don't like to. And since this one does feel a little dry, I'm going to add a little pump to this back and see if that makes any difference and so because I do not need to see I know that a struggle for a lot of people doing their hair at home is that they're not able to see but I'm going to show you guys how I am able to do my hair in the back without being able to see so I'm going to go ahead and turn around um, let me grab my clip so um, for the back, I definitely like to use a what people like to call either alligator or crocodile clip um, just because it's really, really good, um, easy to clip, and it also has this piece here, which um, is good for holding hair. I can't use this part on myself because I can't see. I ain't that, I ain't that skilled, but um, it's good for clients for sure. So as you guys see, I'm still sectioned off. I like to, this is exactly why I like to section because it just makes it a whole lot easier not being able to see and all. So I just use, allow my, the um, wrap tail portion of my comb to kind of guide me. And then I just flip this portion up here. Now, since we're back here in the kitchen, sis, I don't care about no heat damage back here because I can't be having no risk. I can't be having no dirty kitchen. So we're just gonna go ahead and tap that a few times, just a few times. And then we're just going to take our comb and once again, we're just going to chase it. Let me turn so you guys can see. We just go and chase it all the way down. All right. It's a little harder doing it from this angle. And you see, guys, see, you got this little corner right here. This corner right here is going to sneak out every single time. So I do go ahead and tap that one more time. Just the root, though. Because I like my roots to be very, very smooth. Got me? All right. So we're just going to take our crocodile clip out. And then this just takes you just being able to feel, you know? We'll grab that. Be mindful of that ear. Be mindful of that ear though. See that I haven't burnt myself in many, many years, but you gotta be mindful of that ear. Be mindful of that ear, girl. So, really smooth so far. Let me get my corner. Mind the ear, just find your finger, and just go from there.
hit that root, hit it again, grab your comb, and just walk it down. One pass, by the way. You want to um, speed up your heat damage, hit down that shaft a few times. You guys, so I ended up putting more of the shine serum on this section of my hair, and that's what it was. I just didn't have enough on there. Um, I feel bad because this side, like I said, feels like a Popeye biscuit. Like a Popeye biscuit. But this side over here is shining like no money, literally. So, um... What I'm going to do is just add more of the serum when I get finished with this side. Um, but as you guys can see, this side is literally shining. Like shining. Um, yeah, so I mean, so far, now that I know what's good, this actually ain't that bad. It's not that bad at all. I definitely recommend it at this point because... Yeah, you just got to make sure you add a pretty good amount of that, um, of the shine serum on there. And it's really going to give you a really um, smooth and um, shiny look. definitely like it and I love how affordable it was it really really did not cost a lot for the whole system it cost me no more than like 24 bucks and when I because I went to tar um because I went to Target um no it cost me 28 bucks and because I went to Target and got it um, right now they're running a special where if you spend $25 on hair care products then you get a $5 dis um $5 gift card so I actually was able to get a gift card of five dollars just because i spent 25 dollars so really if you want to be technical it cost me about 20 bucks well 23 bucks for this whole system and that's really really good compared to a lot of other um straightening like collections and stuff like that it can really really get up there i'm going to try some other ones just because i want to be able to know which one is the best and stuff like that but this one is definitely 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 okay it is just okay now I'm gonna say it's just okay. It is really okay. Like my hair looks like I went to a salon. Like wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we are just finishing up and in good fashion we are doing a, a middle part because I'm just not a side part girl. Like I said, I got a short neck. I need stuff that makes my make my neck look long. Just look at that shine, you guys. Look how smooth it looks. Let me tell you, they got the name right for this. The Keratin Smooth. Yeah, they nailed that. And in the front, I like it to be flat, flat. We should be down to like our last piece now. If I'm right, yep, we are. Of course, we're gonna do like some little cleanup in the top because I do like it to just be like super, super flat. I'm just gonna take my clip out of this side. It dented it a little bit, but it's okay. It is a-okay. Let me scoot my mirror back. You guys, this is nice. Like, this looks so good. Tell me it doesn't look like I just left a salon. Like, looks so, so good. Let me turn to the back so you guys can see. Now I'm just gonna comb out, I'm just combing out the part now. But you guys, it looks like I just left the salon. Super duper silky and smooth. Let's just add a little bit more of this to the top. 
just so we can get that ultimate shine. OMG, I'm obsessed. Tell me it doesn't look good. Tell me it does not look good. Look at all that movement. So much movement. Oh my gosh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Yes, so you guys, we are pretty much done um, with this. I actually love this. I was skeptical at first, but it turns out that it actually is okay. Like, it actually is okay. $25 for the whole freaking collection. And I am, I must say, I'm satisfied. I'm definitely satisfied. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Well, um, I do want to say I thank you guys for tuning in and watching this far. I hope that you guys are able to take